Welcome back, all things covered, coming to you from beautiful Latrobe, PA, site of the training camp for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And for you guys that know football, that know Georgia football, that know Steeler football, you know exactly who it is sitting to my left, Pat P's right, no other than superstar wide receiver George Pickens is joining us here. All things covered, Pat P, Brian McFadden. First and foremost, George, how you doing? How you feel it? I'm doing good, man. That is a great introduction. You like it? Yeah, I love, <laughs> I love the introduction, but I've been doing good, man. Just taking a day at a time. Well, Pat P, before we get into our conversation, I want to put Pat P on the spot. You no, know, Pat P is a future Hall of Famer. He's dealt with a lot of pressure throughout his career, you know, lockdown coverages. I want to know, can he give us an honest, honest answer? Talk to me. All my you, answers are honest, man. You've been, you've been around a lot of great wide receivers. Yep. I already, I already know. No, 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 no. Hold on. You don't, <laughs> let, me, let me get my question now. Better catch. Last year's George Pickens catch against the, the, the Cleveland Browns, the one-hander, mm. well, I think it was on Sunday night, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or Justin Jefferson's one-hand catch against the Buffalo Bills a year ago. Jeez. Man, man, both of those my guys. I want to hear nothing about both of those. I want to know who had the better catch. <laughs> better catch. Better catch. I'm going to have to go GP. Ooh. Here's why. Why? Because he had to catch the ball. Literally, he's tracking it. He had to catch the ball on his opposite ear. Yeah. Behind. I don't think he even saw the ball. Didn't even see the ball. Yeah, I th I, his hand's probably so big. His hand's such a magnet. Uh -huh. He just stuck it back there and said, click. Just How did right you catch there. that, George? I just stuck it back there and said, click. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause you use all all hands. It was. It wasn't like you. It was, you know, yeah, the, your hands. body. It was just like all hands. It was really a. Uh, I seen the ball coming like a little late. I mm -hmm. seen it shot, sh shoot out his hand. When I looked in there, I was like, okay, I'm going to dig for a little bit. And I dig a little too long. Yeah. And when I looked back up, the ball was, like he said, click. So when I stretched my hand out, the ball was right there. It's just like a magnet. Yeah. Man, is that, is that your best catch ever in your career? Because I saw something that happened in practice while you were you were at UGA that yeah. a lot of people probably haven't seen. But where would you rank Rate that catch from a year ago throughout all the catches that you just had a great one earlier, of course, you know, yesterday, yeah. too. Uh, I'll probably say that UGA one probably my, me personally, my favorite one just because yeah. the difficulty of it, yeah. And I didn't really all the catches I'd have made is some crazy difficulty, but this one was guy was coming down, I got hit by the safety, mm -hmm. I brought the ball over the defender, too. Yeah, I the balls in one hand, I brought it over him and took the hit, yeah. And that was uh. That was one of the craziest things. Also, I was the youngest. Mm -hmm. you know, I didn't, I didn't develop. Now I grew into my bag a little deeper as far as receiver. But like back then, that was that was one of the craziest catches I ever made. Yeah, yeah and, and like I said, like well, like B Max said, you always been known to make some crazy catches. We yeah. saw an, an amazing catch yesterday, showing a great display of body control. You recently said that you are the best receiver in the world. In the world. In the world. Can you state your case why? And who is your top five receivers right now? Uh, I say I'm the best receiver in the world, man, just strictly off if you had to create a receiver. If you had to create a player at receiver, mm -hmm. you're going to want him to be around 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 mm -hmm. You're going to want him to have great hands, great speed, exceptional routes. Mm -hmm. He's going to be able to have to jump real high. You, if you was creating a player on Madden, uh, that's kind of that's kind of how where, when I say that, that's where I'm kind of taking it. Mm -hmm. Not as far as, you know, anything else. Me personally, I feel like I'm the best receiver in the world. Mm -hmm. but, uh, as you should. My top five, I'll probably go. My top five is crazy. One, Calvin Johnson. Yeah. And this all time. This all time. All time yeah. top yep. five. Yep. One, Calvin. Two, uh, I'm going to have to go Randy. Randy Moss. Yeah, okay. Like it. Three, uh, Randy. Jerry Rice. Statistics, mm. you know. Four, Julio. Okay. And uh, five, this is my personal favorite, me. You know what I mean? Okay, <laughs> say no more. Say no more. Like uh, five, one of my guys that I used to watch, that I always used to watch, this just me, is Michael Crabtree. That's mm. my favorite receiver. Hey. Okay, this is your list. Yeah. This is your list. So this is how you feel. This is your list. I know speaking with Pat P, man, since day one, man, he's been a fan of who you are as a wide receiver. Yeah. And one of the NFL comps that he gave you was DeAndre Hopkins, you know, in regards to your catch radius. Yeah. What do you think about that? And I gave a comp too as well, because you know my job as an analyst, I watch ball, and I love giving. And, and tell them who former, you said. I love giving former comps. My comp to you when you come when it comes to your body movement and your body control, Chad Johnson. 
yeah. how fluid you are. It's kind of unorthodox. It's yeah. kind of hard to kind of dissect mm -hmm. and the way you run your routes. But I, I threw a little, little bit of Chad Johnson yeah, in there. What, you, what, you what did I say to you yesterday about your route running? He literally said the same thing. He said, <laughs> it's unorthodox, and that's I need to keep doing it because you yes. never know what I'll do. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You never yeah. know what I'll do. But what do you think about that? Hearing, you know, Pat P mentioning yeah. the catch radius of DeAndre Hopkins yeah. and then, you know. D Hop was also number six on that list. And mm. I agree with Pat P. D Hop is like my radius. That's kind of where I get some of my radius from mm -hmm. when it comes to when the ball in the air. That's literally uh, one of the receivers I watched in Clemson. Mm -hmm. uh, when he was at the Texans for sure. Mm -hmm. So D Hop, and he number six on that list. So right after that, fifth, fifth guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, you talk about this quite a few times since I came here. Yeah. I got to get your reaction when you instantly became a meme on draft yeah. night, standing in front of television. Yeah. In front of the television. Yeah. Well, how did that come about? <laughs> man, that was that was that's one for the ages, one for the books, man. But uh, I say, really, initially, I was uh, I was a little salty after I ain't going the first round. I had mm -hmm. a clean suit, man, uh, with the loafers on. I'm, man, I'm looking clean. Trip. And then the second day, when I when I when that when that first day went by, I went I went to my bed and I slept, and I was just telling myself like. I'm not gonna put no. I'm not gonna put nothing on the second day. Mm. I just, I'm just gonna. The team who get me gonna get the best version of me, mm. and that's where you guys see the ski mask. Yeah, the t not, the white t-shirt. The white t-shirt. Yeah. Now the pose, that's just some. You know, that's just me trolling, being funny. The pose <laughs> is what the meme is about, which is crazy. But yeah, man, that that second day I was a little ticked off, but it was great. I I, I kind of turned into a highlight. So George, I got something for you. That pose, as Pat P mentioned, went viral. That should be your touchdown celebration. Hey. Yeah. Score a touchdown. And, and strike the pose. Because everybody yeah. know who, who it is. No question. <laughs> that, that, that's one of one. Nobody else can do that because you went viral. You were the first person to do it. And when we see it, yeah. we already know what it is. No doubt that about might, it. That when you, might when you score about 10 touchdowns this year, 10. That's what I, I, that should be your. That's 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 what it should be. That's, that's going to be the one. I no question. Lie, I, I'm, I'm jacking that. That's that's Guys, y'all going to see when I score this shit, that's going to be the new seven. Hey, you heard you here first. all things covered. When GP scored 10 of them things, you right? Me? At least 10. At least 10. I can't Double even digits. do the polls. Just Only the you can do it. I can't even. I Double can't even. The minimum. I can't even do it. So I think that would be dope. And, and while watching you guys practice today, George, I'm a thinker. I'm always, like, trying to be creative. Watching the connection between you and Kenny Pickett. I came up with a nickname oh boy. for you guys this year. Oh boy. Now, I just said you're probably going to get 10 of them things, 10 touchdowns. So we're going to be hearing the connection of Kenny Pickett and George Pickens. And be honest, Ken, uh, George, if you like this name yes. or not. And for you viewers, if you like the nickname, <laughs> let us know. If you don't like it, we'll come up with something else. But George Pickens, Kenny Pickett, both last names start the same letter, mm -hmm. P. I came up with the law firm of P&P because &P, y'all going to lay the law down this year. Law, mm. I like the delivery. The law firm of P and P. The nickname. He don't like it. He don't like it. Ah. God dang it. Be honest, G. I I got to do something else. I get that by the by the fuck. You like the delivery, but, but the, the actual delivery. nickname. The P and P law firm. We're gonna lay the law down. You see, <laughs> I love the delivery. The but delivery. But, but the, the name. The name. Uh, the name don't keep stick. Thinking, man. God dang it, Pat. Keep <laughs> thinking, man. I gotta figure out yeah, something. Yeah, you gotta figure out. Something I got time. I got time. Hey, I, I got time. If I didn't like, I knew he wasn't gonna like it. So yeah. you didn't like it either. Mm -mm. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta come up with a nickname because you know, great quarterbacks and great receivers connection. Yeah. They have some type yeah. of nickname. You know what I mean? So we got time, and yeah, we you, got time. Well, you know you yeah, can think of something time. also. Yeah, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think with y'all boys. Yeah, coming from you know UGA, you know you're here with Pittsburgh. I want to get your Mount Rushmore of Georgia Bulldog players. <laughs> your top four. Just players. Yeah, just players. Uh, a lot of greats came out of there, man. Man, a lot of greats lot came of out of here. One, I'll probably go uh, AJ Green mm. for me. Mm, okay. Two, uh, I'll probably go. Matthew, Matthew Stafford. You see your coach there? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> go, we got it right, Coach. Tell me to behave. <laughs> but nah, uh, number three, uh, it's a tough one, but no Sean Marino. I watch, I watch a lot of football, y'all. I played yeah. against no Sean. I no watched Sean. a lot of no football. No Sean was special. No Sean was so special. No, special. So no Sean Marino, yeah. uh, defensively, Thomas Davis. Okay, okay, okay. Throwback. Uh, number one five. More. Uh, let me see. Number five. I might have to throw my boy Nick Chubb in there. So you, you gave us that's, that's your that's list. That's, that's yeah. so you got AJ, AJ Green, Matthew, Matthew Stafford, Stafford, Marino, Marino, 
Chubb. And Davis. And Davis, yep. That's your list. That's, yeah. list. I like That's a good list. That's yeah. our list. I like it. Yeah. yeah, I like it. So when you talk about this year, man, we saw flashes of your greatness in year one. You know, what's, what's your personal expectations for year two? Uh, really just run after catch. I've been working on that a lot. Uh, the catch point, I've already known I, I can catch the ball. Just me exploding after the catch, uh, trying to get yak, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get, and that boosts my yardage. So instead of ending with, you know, got 800, I'll probably reach that 1,000 mark, 1,100 mark. Mm. That's really what I've been working on. And 10 most. tubs. Yeah. Yeah, 10 tubs. Is this my last one. What you got, Pat Pete? Uh, George, have you seen any difference from Kenny, Kenny heading in, into year two? From yeah. year one. Yes. Uh, What's think, the biggest difference? The biggest difference is just uh, composure. You mm -hmm. know, last year we were working on getting the plays down. It's a combination of getting the plays down mm -hmm. and reading the coverage when you have QB, and that's two hard things to do while the game going on. Mm -hmm. So uh, this year he's a lot more calmer. He reads things better. Uh, but composure is most definitely the biggest thing you're going to see out of him this year. My last question, are you the best dresser on the team? Yeah, I'm the cleanest on the team. I saw you. Smoothest on the team. So you got that drink? <laughs> Well, Pat, I know Pat P. I don't know if Pat P. because he's older nah, yeah. in the P tooth got, right now. I don't know if he. Yeah. Got, I know the young Pat P. used to give him, used to give some drip too. <laughs> Pat P. is sharp. He's sharp. <laughs> between clean. What's, what's, the, what's the difference between clean and sharp? <laughs> clean, you got a guy that's, you know, clean guy most likely going to be a flashy guy. Yeah. And a sharp guy is going to be more like, you know, presidential type. Oh, okay. You know, he's sharp. Yeah. You, you almost can't get to him. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I like it. I like it. But, George, like thank it. you for joining us yes, here. Sir. All things so, covered, man. Shots out to all your fans tuning in, Georgia Bulldog fans and Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Two things we found out in this show. He don't like the name. I'm running the name by Kenny Pickett, but I, it, I guess yeah, I got to yeah. find a new name anyway. Yeah, he, don't like he don't like the nickname. <laughs> and his touchdown celebration dance was revealed here. The meme. The meme. It and was. You, are you going to have the ski mask on still? Cause I, don't, I might wear one game. But I how do you do that in the, when it's September and it's hot outside? I don't understand. I saw we'll you. figure it out. That's the clean part. With you the just, ski mask. You just go with it. You just try to be flashy. You, you, hot, you hot under there. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to keep to be cool. hot. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned. tuned but baby. thank you, George. For sure. Appreciate it, That was smooth. Yes,